Hi, my name is Davica Stume and I'm going to explain something about the electric motors, how they work and the specific applications, uh, for example, in the industry and how they are used nowadays. So I will begin with explaining what is an electric motor. An electric motor is an electric machine that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy, as simple as that. But how do you work? Um, as you can see here in the image, it, the motor has a moving part called uh, rotor and a stationary part called stator. In the stator, a magnetic field is found with its north and south pole, while the rotor is composed by windings of electrical wire where the current flows. And this current is controlled by the commutator here in the middle. Uh, that depending on the position of the rotor, it lets the, the current flow in the correct direction to create the necessary inducted magnetic field to produce a rotation. And briefly, this is how the, the electric motor works. It goes, uh, it's very used nowadays in many motors like the followings I'm going to mention. Okay, now that we know how an electric motor works and what it is, I'm going to explain uh, some examples of how electric motors are applied to mechanical engineering. And I will begin with the brush DC motor. And the brush DC motor is an, an commutated electric motor that is internally commutated, designed to run uh, with a DC current. And it's a simple speed control motor and it's applied in steel mills and automotive accessories designed of course by engineers. Now the second one I'm going to talk to about is the brushless DC motor. This is like the first one just without the brushes. It's better known as BLDC. And these motors are synchronous motors that are powered by DC electric source and using an inverter that is similar to the commutator and this produces an AC electric signal to drive the motor the advantages of this uh, in uh, comparing with the, uh, the last one is that this is a long life low maintenance and high efficiency motor and it's usually used in, in electric vehicles and RC vehicles and now I'm going to talk about one of the most important electric motors that are used nowadays. These are the universal motors. The, what is a big advantage of these motors is that they can operate with both AC and DC power. And these are accommodated series wound motors where the stator steel coils are connected in series with the rotor wind is uh, through a commutator as I explained in the beginning. They are high starting torque, compact and high speed motors. They are usually used in the power tools like the bore or the cutter, the, the steel cutter or the wood cutter, and in the, in the kitchen, in the kitchen tools like the, with the blender. And at last but not least, I'm going to talk about the synchronous reluctance motor, uh, known better as SYRM. And uh, this motor is a type of electric motor that induces a non-permanent magnetic pulse into the ferromagnetic motor, I mean rotor. And the torque is generated to uh, magnetic reluctance. And it is used in vehicles, aircraft engineering, which is part of the mechanical engineering studies. And now we're going to follow uh, with my friend Fernando, that he's going to explain some more application of the electric motors for mechanical engineering. A electric motor and the her application in the engineering. Electric motor uh, has a main use because of its, its use of magnetic fields. They produce the, the current they passing on the throttle and the conductor. In industry, our use of for various operations the switch on ventilation elements, the huge fans, suction motor the pumps of water, or the other lights, the movement, the cumber, the bills, the processing elements, and the energy number of the fusion, that do not need 
de, de grupo de counting. The, there are various types the models, uh, the horsepower, connection size, engineers operation the from the, the three three balls are uh, one one hundred or the or more. Electric steam motor steam motor are the are I type the or more the frequency use the wind the precise the rotation. They are frequently the rocking and in a stripper motor an internal rotor the contain and the magnetility the of the rotor the within in salient the power is controlled the by a set of external magnet that are reaching electronically.